And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. This is a directed network, and I'm net control. If at any time during this net should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOG network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the loudest, best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. And so I started the QSO VLOG network with the phrase, If you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today, we're currently featuring over 2,500 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook. And we also have a new series called KC9VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9 VKV Logbook and KC9 VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have the actual audio masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length major music concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLOC network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running four internet SDR receivers, monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also on this selector is our local receiver audio. And today, our local receiver is running three large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scanner array with a manual voting system six-position rotary selector. 
Also today on the Transmit side, we'll be running our no SWR specially oriented resonant dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant dipole runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today, we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you'll protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history, with dark clouds all around, we pray that you will reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG Network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZ is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40-meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Hey, Charlie, got a copy? And Charlie had said that he might not be uh, with us uh, this uh, Friday, but uh, hopefully uh, he will um, join us next uh, Friday. He's had some medical situation, and uh, hopefully uh, he will, as I said, join us next uh, Friday. So without further ado, let's open it up and see what we got. If anyone's got a radio they want to check out, give me a shout. Radio they want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo Delta 8, Alpha, Quebec Tango, Mobile. Uh, Alpha, what was that, uh, Tango? Uh, what was the uh, call again, please, slowly, phonetically? What was the uh, call again, please, slowly, phonetically? Uh, Kilo, Delta, 8, Alpha, Quebec, Tango, mobile. Alpha, Quebec, Tango, roger, roger, and what's the name there? Uh, Quebec, Tango, roger, roger, and what's the name there? Uh, name here is Rick, Romeo, India, Charlie, Kilo. Roger, Rick, and uh, what uh, radio? Where are you, sir? Where are you at the moment? Uh, radio, where are you, sir? Where are you at the moment? Uh, I'm in the uh, northern part of Lower Michigan, uh, driving home from work. Roger, Roger, Rick, and what radio are you running? Roger, Roger, Rick, and what radio are you running? Uh, running an ICOM 706. Sounds pretty good, sir. Uh, is that an older radio? Roger, Roger. Now that radio is that uh, capable of a hundred watts, or is sixty about it? Capable of a hundred watts, or is sixty about it? Uh, say again. Is that radio capable of a hundred watts, or do you just uh, deliberately run it at sixty? Do you just uh, deliberately run it at sixty? Uh, yeah, it's capable at a hundred watts. Um, I'm running it at eighty percent power uh, max right now, but uh, being single sideband, I'm probably only pushing. Uh, Roger, Roger, Rick. Uh, gosh, uh, if you would, uh, why don't you tell me about that antenna system on the uh, on the mobile, and let me look around and see if I can get a better copy on you, Roger, Roger. Look around and see if I can get a better copy on you, Roger, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Uh, it's a screwdriver, and uh, running no tuner. I just tune the antenna. Um, I have a switch in my uh, in my driver's position where I can uh, adjust the antenna up and down and. Of course, it's 
got a uh, loading coil, uh, center loaded uh, antenna. It's uh, mounted on my lift gate, uh, which is a horrible place to mount it, but that's where it's mounted. And uh, it's on the uh, left uh, corner, left rear corner of the vehicle. Uh, the uh, radiating element is, uh, it starts about a foot above the roof line. So it's, uh, it's really, uh, it's a compromise. Yes, sir. Well, it's sounding really good. Uh, technically, I think you have it set up rather well. The EQ pattern is uh, on the bright side, not much on the base, but that's exactly what you want in a, in a mobile situation. Roger, Roger. In a, in a mobile situation, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, Rick. Well, I think uh, Mother Nature has pulled the plug on us uh, f for the moment, uh, propagation-wise. So, let me say uh, 73 to you, sir. Uh, you sounded really good in that mobile, and uh, it's uh, just just perfect. I think I wouldn't uh, change a thing. Get the gorilla tape and taper down, Roger. A thing. Get the gorilla tape and taper down, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, thanks for running the net and uh, 73. Roger, Roger, Rick, 73, sir. And if you want to hear that uh, great audio, uh, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,500 QSO VLAG air check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So 73, sir, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, join us next Friday. We'd love to have you. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. I have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, roger, roger. There was a weak one back in there. Uh, this is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net uh, station calling. Uh, try it again and uh, maybe give me about 10 seconds on your call and let me see if I can find a better location uh, to uh, pour you from. Roger, roger. Station uh, to uh, pour you from. Roger, roger. WA30 after him, Jim. I repeat. Uh, station calling, uh, you're just too weak right now. I went around the horn there. I have a uh, an SDR system in the eastern part of the United States. It's uh, sounded kind of graduated out there from Georgia to uh, uh, New York, and uh, I couldn't uh, pull you out. So, you know, I have a, a saying about that. Uh, gosh, uh, you know, if somebody's transmitting with 100 watts in the eastern part of the United States, you've got to be 10-8 uh, somewhere, or an S, uh, S8 uh, somewhere. You can't be an S1 everywhere because then you're not getting out. And if you're not getting out, you might consider a different kind of antenna, more efficient uh, kind of antenna. And may I suggest a uh, resonant uh, tuned uh, dipole antenna. Those are really very efficient antennas and you might uh, be amazed uh, if you had an AB switch between the antenna that you're running now and your new uh, resonant uh, dipole antenna I think you would uh, really hear the difference. Uh, and that would be what I'm thinking. There was another station in there. Other station, go ahead. Thinking. There was another station in there. Other station, go ahead. Yeah, KC9, VKV, Whiskey Alpha, 3 Oscar. Name here is Mike, uh, Jim, and um, i just uh, curious if, um, if uh, anybody has informed you about uh, you know, Charlie um, uh, K1GZL. Um, he, he's... Um, He's in uh, in a home right now. I didn't know if you might want his number. Maybe you'd probably enjoy hearing from you. Right. I contacted him earlier last week. Uh, we've had some uh, some health problems in our our family, and, uh, and uh, it's really been a, a kind of a turmoil situation. But uh, I did talk to him to him once, and he wasn't sure whether he would be back on the air. Uh, did, have you spoken with him recently? Yeah. Uh, did, have you spoken with him recently? I have not, but a friend of mine has, and uh, there's a number that you can um, you can uh, contact them via. I could probably give you that number uh, through an email if you would like to uh, just to say hello to them. He'd probably like to hear from you. Yes, sir. I'd love that. Uh, send me the email uh, number. I appreciate it. Roger, Roger. Uh, send me the email uh, number. I appreciate it. Roger, Roger. 
All right, Jim. 73s. Good luck. Okay, you're taking a dive here. The band must have took a, took a dive here. 73s. All the best. Roger, roger, Mike. Uh, 73 that way, sir. Thanks for the info. Appreciate it. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. There's a station with a tango call sign in it. Uh, come back uh, slowly, phonetically, with your call again, please, sir. Come back uh, slowly, phonetically, with your call again, please, sir. I got uh, Kilo Kilo 4 something something tango, is that a Roger? Uh, uh, kilo Kilo 4 something something tango, is that a Roger? Yeah, tango Kilo. Tango Whiskey Tango, is that a Roger? Tango Whiskey Tango, is that a Roger? Tango Kilo Whiskey, is that a Roger? Kilo Whiskers, Roger. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of working by Braille this afternoon, man. Conditions are not not very good. So uh, uh, if you're interested in the uh, tune-up, if uh, our setup, if you have a copy on me, I can uh, guide you through it if you can copy me. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I can uh, guide you through it if you can copy me. Roger, Roger. All right, uh, Tango Kilo Whiskey, what's the name there? Uh, Tango Kilo Whiskey, what's the name there? Roger, Roger, Andy, as in Sheriff. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, anyway, Andy, uh, what? where are you located, sir? Well, anyway, Andy, uh, what, where are you located, sir? Yeah, I did get the eastern corner of meh, um, try, uh, try it again, where are you, sir? Meh, um, try, uh, try it again, where are you, sir? I get that eastern corner of something and then it just loses it. Uh, come back and just with the name, uh, just with the name of the state uh, two or three times, Roger. Uh, just with the name of the state uh, two or three times, Roger. Andy, I got a Tennessee, Roger and Roger, and what radio are you running today, sir? Tennessee, Roger and Roger, and what radio are you running today, sir? I'm running a 6400. A 6400, is that a Roger? A 6400, is that a Roger? All right, Andy, if you're interested in our setup procedure, the first thing would be to make sure that you're in that uh, wide uh, transmit band width, 100 to 2900. If it's a newer radio, 100 to 2900 uh, uh, called wide, that would be the one to be in. Uh, otherwise, if it's an older radio, we want to be in the, uh, uh, the best, uh, uh, highest uh, resolution you can be in. Uh, you know, usually you can't change it. So uh, is that an older radio or a newer radio? Well, I wish I had a better copy on you, Andy. Why I tell you what, man? Why don't you give me about ten seconds, tell me about your antenna system, and let me look around and see if I can find you down in Georgia or somewhere. Let me look around and see if I can find you down in Georgia or somewhere. Well, uh, Andy, I found you on my local antenna. You're a, a bit noisy, but I do have you. So uh, our setup procedure uh, starts with you uh, engaging your processor compressor at a three. Uh, it's a token amount, something you'll never hear on the air, but uh, it helps us arrive at that three dB dynamic range at the end of the setup. So compression on at a three. Roger, roger. Three out of... 10, uh, 30 out of 100. Uh, we just want a third of that compression capability. Roger. Well, all I have on the processor on this list is normal DX and DX plus. 
Yes, sir. So uh, set it on normal. Set it on normal. Roger, roger. It is on and on normal. Yes, sir. Okay, now let's move to your ALC with uh, mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, don't stress it. Just say the word, uh, but stretch out the front of it. That's what we're looking for, the audio part. And uh, with mic gain in hand, adjust uh, mic gain until your ALC is running two-thirds. Roger. All right. Now, uh, does that uh, radio have an equalization page, or does it have an uh, equalizer, uh, Roger, Roger? Yeah, it's got a Okay, what I've noticed is that your, uh, your bottom end is really heavy, real heavy. Uh, I would suggest, uh, if we can, uh, uh, let's uh, go to that EQ, and uh, if it's a three-band EQ, uh, we want to uh, punch up the top end, the treble, about uh, three clicks. Three clicks boost, treble EQ from where you are, uh, if that's a three-band. Roger, Roger. Well, on my EQ, I have a uh, 63, 125, 500 and all those are for sure. 1K, 2K, 4K, 8K, 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 8
<laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, did you had you gone the wrong way? Uh, I sounded really bassy that one time. Then the last transmission, what I could hear sounded just about right. Roger. All right, I think that's about as close as I can get you right now. I, I, I only copy you about uh, two or three uh, uh, clicks above my noise, my local noise level, and I don't copy you anywhere else. So you are in the best mode I can find for you, uh, but I can't, uh, the clearer I can hear you, the better I can get that EQ. But uh, you are a serviceable now. I think before you were really on the heavy on the bottom side and kind of muffly. So now you do have uh, some articulation going for you. Roger, Roger. Yeah, Andy, uh, what part of Tennessee are you in, sir? I'm about 40 miles east of Canada. Would that be close to Middle Tennessee? No, I'm all the way over in the very southeast border of North Carolina. Georgia and North Carolina. Ah, gosh, I just found you on my... Uh, my dipole antenna, come back uh, and uh, let me hear you for a couple of seconds and make sure I've, I've got you good. Roger? Okay, yeah, we're over here in the country in God's country, in the very southeastern corner of Tennessee that borders Georgia and North Carolina. I'm probably 20 miles from Georgia. Roger, Roger, Andy. Okay, now, uh, since we've been uh, uh, working in the EQ department there, uh, we need to go, you know, in pretty extensive EQing. Uh, what we want to do is go back to your ALC and verify your, our level, you know, since we've been playing with that EQ. Anytime you play with the EQ, uh, you want to go back and uh, double check your level there. So back to, uh, to your ALC with mic gain in hand and adjust for two thirds on the word audio again. Roger. Yes, sir, I've got you a little better now. So uh, I think uh, for the moment, uh, we'll call it quits. <laughs> uh, if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search, uh, KC9VKV, uh, followed by the word logbook, will take you to this recording uh, so you can hear your radio. And uh, this will be cut number one in a series of 2,500 QSOV Lago check recordings. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. KC9 VKV, correct? Kilo, Charlie, 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor. Again, Kilo, Charlie, 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor. Roger. And what was that for that, sir? Uh, logbook, logbook, Roger. And I'll have you uh, uploaded by uh, noon tomorrow. Roger, Roger. Yes, sir, Andy. Sorry we uh, didn't have uh, better conditions, but, uh, you know, Mother Nature sometimes, well, all the time, Mother Nature calls the shots. We just have to deal the hand that she gives us. So, uh, 73, and if you would, maybe uh, get a uh, contact next Friday, and we can get that EQ right on. I, I think it's really close now, but uh, I'd like to hear you uh, more in the clear than, than where we are. So, 73 there, uh, Andy, and uh, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. This is a KC9 VKV the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Vlognet, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. KC9 VKV, this is KA8YOR. That's uh, KA8YOR, Roger, Roger. That's uh, KA8YOR, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Name is Ed here in Ohio. Uh, good, good afternoon to you, sir. Yes, sir, Ed. Uh, and uh, where are you located, sir? Uh, your Ohio is that a Roger? Yes, sir, Ed. Uh, and uh, where are you located, sir? Uh, your Ohio is that a Roger? Roger, Roger. We're in uh, Ravenna, Ohio, just south of Cleveland by about 30 miles. And uh, you helped me set the 891 Yesu up. I'm using the FTDX10 today with a Behringer microphone, a little bit of equalization, and a uh, amplifier, uh, 811 amplifier with 572Bs in it. 
and uh, running the uh, end fed uh, half wave right now up about 35 feet. Just wondering if I got the EQ set properly. I've been listening to it on the monitor and trying to get a flat response and it was a dip in the mid, mid band and uh, I think I got it close. I just wanted to get a verification from you. Over. Roger, Ed, stand by just a moment, please. There we go, Ed. Thank you so very much. I had a little technical thing I had to take care of, but uh, we're back on the air now, so uh, give me that radio again, please. But uh, we're back on the air now, so uh, give me that radio again, please. Yes, sir. I'm running the uh, FTDX10 from Yesu, uh, 811 amplifier with 572Bs in it, about four or five hundred watts and uh and fed antenna i do have the uh, processor on ten percent and i'm running equalization I, I think i got it relatively flat with a dip in the mid band looks uh, real close to what the 891 was doing which, which you helped me set up and uh Hopefully it's uh, not too far off running the uh, Behringer microphone with uh, the Heil adapter cord on it. Over. Yes, sir. Okay. The first thing would be to make sure that you're in that wide 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Wide uh, 100 to 2900. Roger, Roger. Wide uh, 100 to 2900. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. That's where we're set. All right, now go to your uh, compressor processor. We want it on a 3 out of 10 or a 30 out of 100. We just want a third of the processor on. So it's a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, depending on how it's labeled, Roger. So it's a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, depending on how it's labeled, Roger. Okay, I've got it uh, 10 out of 100. Over. Yes, sir. Okay, now move to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, stretch out the front of the word, audio, become a human test tone, and adjust your mic level until your ALC is two-thirds. Roger? Adjust your mic level until your ALC is two-thirds. Roger? Audio. Audio. Okay, we're at two-thirds there now. All right, sir, now you, uh, let's go to your EQ page, Roger, Roger. All right, sir, now you, uh, let's go to your EQ page, Roger, Roger. Okay, hang on a second. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO V like nut. We're talking with Ed in Ohio, working on his uh, STDX10 in the equalizer department. STDX10 in the equalizer department. Okay, we've got, we're there on that page, and uh, I'm on the uh, first uh, first parametric equalizer is uh, on three. What does that doesn't make sense? Is that a three band EQ, eight band EQ? What kind of equalizer is that, sir? Is that a three band EQ, eight band EQ? What kind of equalizer is that, sir? It is a three band EQ, and I am on uh, 100 right now, 100 uh, hertz or kilohertz, and uh, yeah, it says 100 hertz, and that's at a uh, level of three with a uh, bandwidth of one. Oh, great. You have a, a bandwidth uh, selection. That's great. So uh, let's go up to the top. Do you, Is that a parametric? You can adjust the frequency of the treble EQ. Is that a roger? Is that a parametric? You can adjust the frequency of the treble EQ. Is that a roger? Not that I know of. Uh, I mean, I can, I can choose different frequencies for it. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Your treble EQ. Can you put it on 2.7K? Treble EQ at 2.7K? 2.7K? Q at 2.7K. Yes, sir. That's what it's on, 2.7K. All righty. And uh, can you give me uh, three clicks additional boost from where you are? Three clicks uh, plus boost from where you are? Additional boost from where you are. Three clicks uh, plus boost from where you are. Echo, Charlie 1, Delta Juliet. This is Echo, Charlie 1, Delta Juliet. Frequency is in use. Frequency is in use has been in use since uh, 3.30. Frequency is in use since 3.30. Uh, go ahead, Ed. What you got there? Frequency is in use since 3.30. Uh, go ahead, Ed. What you got there? I was only able to bring it up one click. It was actually on nine. So, uh, yeah, I brought it up one more click. 
All right, sir. Now, what we want is a, a width of four, a width of four on that 2.7K bush, a push. <laughs> Ooh, four. Uh, anyway, uh, we want uh, a width of four on the 2.7K push, Roger. Uh, we want uh, a width of four on the 2.7K push, Roger. Okay, we got it at uh, four. Reset it at four and start it. Over. Uh, and, and what What was the last you said? Uh, and, and what What was the last you said? I went ahead and stored it at, at four. Yes, sir. Okay, now what I want you to do is uh, come back off that mic. I think you got in on that mic. I want you to come back to where you were when we first started the conversation and where you started your uh, ALC uh, level control, Roger. Station where you started your uh, ALC uh, level control, Roger. Roger, I did. I, I raised up. I, I to get closer to the rig so I could see it better. And I'm back to where I first started, where I set the ALC. Yes, sir. Now, uh, so since you have uh, uh, adjustable uh, EQ levels and uh, frequencies on that bottom baseline, I want you to put that on 200 cycles. 200 cycles on your uh, base EQ. Roger, Roger. 200 cycles. 200 cycles on your uh, base EQ. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. We're at 200 now. Yes, sir. Now, I want you to put a width of four. Uh, f with the four on the 200 cycles, Roger, Roger. Uh, f with the four on the 200 cycles, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. We have a width of four now. I w try to work that mic uh, as best you can, as uh, consistently. You know, because if you shift up closer, you have. Uh, uh, proximity effect and uh, uh, things become very basic. So I want you to stay as best you can where you were when we first started and where you set your level. All right, so we're talking about uh, 200 cycles uh, width of four. I want you to take that down uh, three clicks uh, cut. Three clicks cut on that uh, 200 cycles. Roger. Cut. Three clicks cut on that uh, 200 cycles. Roger. Okay, I took it down uh, two clicks. Over. Uh, all right, take it down one more, please. Uh, all right, take it down one more, please. Okay, and I took it down one more. All right, so right back into the position that you were when we first started our conversation, and I want you to go back to your ALC. Is that where you were when we first started? Is that the comfortable position for you uh, normally? Where you were when we first started. Is that the comfortable position for you uh, normally? Uh, usually I close talk. I put my mouth right up to the microphone, but I do get some uh, popping when I do that. I'm not doing that right now. I'm about three or four inches off of it. Uh, this is about where I've got the LC set, and it's at two-thirds right now. Yes, sir. I would stay right there. Now, you can get a windscreen. You can go to your local music store and get a windscreen, uh, a foam windscreen, and put over that mic, and we'll, you can swallow that mic, and, uh, you know, it will still sound great. Uh, when a foam windscreen just takes all of the transients out and just lets you work that mic however you would like. Roger, Roger. It's out and just lets you work that mic however you would like. Roger, Roger. That sounds like a good deal. I've got a windscreen, a, a, a foam windscreen. Should I stick that on there and let you hear it up close? Oh, yes, sir. If you've got one, put it on there, baby. That's what that one needs. Because uh, it does, you know, the thing is, uh, when you start working a mic tight, uh, there's two things that, well, there's probably three things that happen. First is your level comes up the tighter you work it. Uh, your bass frequency comes up the tighter you work it. And the mouth noise comes up the tighter you work that mic. However, with a foam windscreen, that will usually cut down all the transients. So then all we need to do, if you'd like to work it tight, we'll EQ it for tight. Roger. So then all we need to do, if you'd like to work it tight, we'll EQ it for tight. Roger. Roger, Roger. That's how I like to uh, work it. I, I'm working it real close now. I do have the windscreen on it. It's a foam windscreen from uh, Sweetwater. And uh, close talking uh, like I normally do when I'm comfortable operating. Over. Yes, sir. Okay. What we need to do is go back to your ALC and uh, reset your ALC level for close talk.
uh, because uh, your level probably went up about 7 or 8 dB uh, when you came into close proximity. So we want to go back uh, to your AOC. Again, the word audio, spoken just as you would speak any other word in a QSO. Don't stress it, just say it. And then uh, with your mic gain, adjust your AOC for two thirds, Roger. did come up uh, and I'm back on the down okay got it okay so you got uh, two-thirds on that last audio okay so you got uh, two-thirds on that last audio Roger Roger it uh, sounds uh, still hot to me. Go back and check that one more time, if you would there, Ed. It sounds still hot. Uh, the word audio spoken just as you would speak any other word in the QSO. Uh, the word audio spoken just as you would speak any other word in the QSO. Hello, Ed. Do you still copy, sir? Coffee, sir. Station way off there. You were talking to somebody that's been on this frequency for uh, 45 minutes. I don't know where you come from, but the frequency is in use. I'm sure that's going to do a ton of good. Ed, are you still with us, sir? Ed, are you still with us, sir? This is the Friday afternoon kiss of VlogNet, uh, speaking with Ed, uh, K-A-8-Y-O-R. Uh, in uh, Ohio, working on his STDX-10. Last we left, uh, we were uh, deep into the bowels of the EQ page, uh, doing some equalization there. I think we got him in a pretty good stead there, but uh, I just don't know what happened to him. Audio check, check. Uh, audio, I, well, I see by the walk, the uh, the <laughs> light on the uh, amp, we're doing fine, so uh, I guess it must be Mother Nature there or something. I guess it must be Mother Nature there or something. No, it was me. Fumble finger to hit the VFO. Sorry about that. Ended up on another uh, frequency. But I got it set for two-thirds uh, now, and I did back it down in order to get to that point. And, uh, yeah, I'm at uh, two-thirds ALC now. Definitely a little bit less than that. Yes, sir. Well, I, you know, like I say, the word, the word audio, I spent months... Uh, trying to find just the right word uh, to use as a human generator to convert the human voice into an electronic uh, signal to adjust that to AOC. And it turned out that it was the word audio. When you look at it on a uh, spectrum analyzer, it's uh, from, uh, gosh, all the way down to 25 cycles up to uh, uh, 1 or 2 kc. It's just a broadband kind of thing there. And it's just perfect for setting that AOC level. Uh, you, you know, we used to have to say, uh, speak rapidly, one to two or three, and adjust your ALC for mid scale to two thirds. And that that is all right, but uh, the word audio is so precise that you can just set it on two thirds uh, very easily, Roger. Precise that you can just set it on two thirds uh, very easily, Roger. Roger that. Let me uh, try it once again here. Audio. One, two, three, audio. Yes, it's definitely under two thirds now. Uh, we want it right on two-thirds. That, that's the whole idea, that you can set it precisely on, on uh, two-thirds. You know, the thing is that not all uh, ALC uh, displays move all the way from left to right. Uh, most ALCs only uh, display about half of the, uh, the width of uh, the display. So taking that into consideration, taking what would be half of that uh, ALC reading or level, uh, and then uh, the other half, uh, you know, finding the middle of the other half, and that would be uh, two-thirds or, th or thereabouts anyway. Gosh, let's see. Uh, I failed math, but anyway, this should be fairly close here. Yeah, uh, I failed math, but anyway, this should be fairly close here. Okay. 
me try once again here. Audio. Audio. Okay, there I've got it exactly two-thirds. Yes, sir. I would uh, take that bass line down one more click. Just uh, minus one more click, and let me hear you uh, uh, minus one more from where you are on the bass line. I think I may have you on my local antenna there, Ed. Uh, give me about 10 seconds. Tell me about the best thing you like about your radio, and let me listen to you. Give me about 10 seconds. Tell me about the best thing you like about your radio, and let me listen to you. Okay. This is an audio frequency display, which uh, shows me what my audio is doing. Frequency display, which uh, shows me what my audio is doing. A-A-F-T, or A-F-F-T, I believe they call it. And, uh, yeah, I did take the uh, low end down one more. Over. Yes, sir. Take it down one more. I got to copy a little bit on my local antenna. My local radio is good down to 100 cycles, and uh, I would feel more comfortable if you roll just one more from where you are. One more, minus one more from where you are, Roger. You are. One more, minus one more from where you are, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, my, minus one more is down one more. All right, so you're you're still fairly heavy on the bottom end, uh, but uh, not uh, excessive. Uh, the thing is, uh, and I always preach this: uh, uh, Mother Nature sometimes pulls cruel jokes on uh, uh, us uh, amateur radio operators, and uh, she bends back the signal at uh, a different place or, or two places. Uh, instead of just one bounce back to the whoever you're talking to, she does it twice, one a little bit later than the first one. And then when they both coincide at the far distant receive point, one signal might be just a little out of phase with the other. Uh, and uh, therein lies the problem because you have a thing called cancellation. When uh, when things get to phase angle uh, changes, uh, it's uh, difficult to, to keep it uh, all together. It, you know, if she would bend it all back at once, it would be in phase and everything would be just the way it started out. But if she bends one back a little bit later, it's going to be out of phase with the first one. And uh, depending on how that goes, uh, phase cancellation always starts at the top of the audio band and works its way down in the in your modulation signal. So if you have all this, you know, base end, and then you lose the top because of phase angle cancellation, you become Mr. Mumbles. And because of that, I don't emphasize a bunch of bottom end. You know, I, I think uh, that the whole idea is uh, to communicate and be understood. And uh, you can have a great signal, but like I say, if it's, uh, you know, down in that 125 cycle area, uh, you know, and then you lose the top, it becomes... Uh, very base uh, oriented so uh, try a rolling maybe one more click uh, at uh, 200 cycles uh, and uh, that is should be a, a, a of with the four uh, 200 cycles with the four and then uh, minus one more from where we were last Roger three, two, three. Roger Roger I rolled it down one more we're one more left Roger, Roger. I rolled it down one more. We're one more less uh, than what we were before. Over, over. Yes, sir. Now, I wish we had a little more top end, to, actually, you know, but uh, your limitation is uh, that your uh, uh, that uh, frequency is a, a third octave equalizer, you know, and it doubles and doubles. You know, where, uh, you know, uh, but uh, let's see. Now, you had the parametric, right? So you got, you're on 2.7, but you're out of push. You have no more push left, Roger. You're but you're out of push. You have no more push left, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I would call it close enough there, uh, Ed, if you want to hear it. But uh, uh, tell me about the, the best thing you like about your radio. And uh, let me uh, get a nice recording for about 15 seconds or so. Uh, I think you really enjoy it, Roger. Recording for about 15 seconds or so. Uh, I think you really enjoy it, Roger.
I uh, well, that's that. hard to receive you. Yeah, I, uh, I really enjoy the uh, DX-10. It's uh, a lot simpler to operate than I thought it was going to be. After having the 891, I thought everything was going to be menu-driven, but this one's not too bad. It's uh, pretty uh, logical. Go through it pretty easily. And uh, anyway, that's uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Over. Roger, Roger, Ed. I think it sounds great, man. Get the... Uh Get the regular tape and taper down. Uh, I think we've uh, uh, struck it. I think you'll enjoy your recording. I'll have it uh, uploaded by YouTube tomorrow. Uh, so if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. Uh, that'll uh, take you to this recording. It should be cut number one in a series of 2,500 QSO Vlog air check recordings. So uh, 73 there, Ed. Uh, appreciate it, Roger. Recordings. So uh, 73 there. Appreciate it, Roger. Roger, Roger. I appreciate it very much. Once again, uh, compliments to you, sir, for doing a good job uh, helping everybody out. That's what it's all about. I really appreciate it. KC9VKV. This is KA8YR. I heard the other station come in and give the comment also. Thank you, sirs, and uh, I'm 73 to y'all. Hey, Ed, I got a quick question for you. Hello, Golf 2, Romeo Golf. Yes, Romeo Golf, go ahead, over. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think, um, I don't know if you're out of time, but uh, maybe I'd like to, uh, today or another time in the future when you have time, uh, if you could help me out with my 991 Alpha. Uh, 991 Alpha, this is a Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Uh, stand by just a moment, sir. I'm just wrapping up uh, with uh, Ed, and I'll be, I'll be with you there. Roger? Back, you can uh, go the next day and uh, hear what you sounded like, but uh, yeah, I'm not too good at it. That's why I asked his help. Over. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, that's, that's who I was trying to contact. Well, I'm sorry, 991 Alpha sounds great the way it is. This is KAYOR, 73's off. I think that 991A sounds great. I wouldn't touch nothing. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I'd I still like to uh, contact the uh, gentleman out there that was helping out. Uh, can you copy Kilo Golf to Romeo Golf in Albany, New York? Oh, yeah. A uh, station in Albany, New York. Uh, stand by just a moment. <laughs> I'm trying to make it through the mirage of things here. This is uh, KC9 VKV, the QSO Vlog Net uh, for Friday afternoon, and uh, trying to make it up to New York. So everybody just uh, stand by. Appreciate it, Ed. 73, sir. And uh, this is KC9 VKV, New York Station. Stand by just a moment, please. I'll be with you. KC9 VKV, New York Station. Stand by just a moment, please. I'll be with you. Kilo, 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 Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor. I think last we left, we were uh, making comment uh, to a New York station. New York station, uh, this is KC9 VKV. I uh, come back with your uh, call sign slowly, phonetically. I come back with your uh, call sign slowly, phonetically. Yeah, QSO. This is uh, Kilo Germany 2, Radio Germany. Kilo Germany 2, Radio Germany. Roger Radio Germany, and uh, what's the name there? Roger Radio Germany, and uh, what's the name there? Uh, my name is Justin. Justin. Roger, Justin, and uh, you're in New York. Is that a Roger? Roger, Justin, and uh, you're in New York. Is that a Roger? QSO, I'm here in the uh, New York State Capitol here in Albany, New York. All right, Justin, and what radio are you uh, running today? All right, Justin, and what radio are you uh, running today? I'm running the a 2 fc 9 I'm sorry, the a 2 fc 991 Alpha, 991 Alpha, and I have a processor on, I have no equalizer on, and I have the hand mic, stock mic that comes has two positions, a toggle on the back. I'm currently in position number one. Over. Alrighty, uh, so I've got you on uh, my Virginia SDR. Uh, the first thing would be to make sure you're in that wide uh, 100 to 2900 transmit band pass uh, mode, Roger. Yeah. Uh, 100 to 2900 transmit band pass uh, mode, Roger. Yeah, QSL. I'll uh, 
I checked out real quick, and uh, I'm in uh, 100 to 3,000. And w which one did you want me to go into? Uh, 100 to 2,900. The problem when you exceed uh, 2,900, uh, you wind up uh, with people looking for you with pitchforks. So I suggest, and we suggest, that you run 100 to 2,900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. Yes, that you run 100 to 2,900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. Okay, I'm in the 100 to 2900 now in uh, menu number uh, 110. Great, great. Okay, then uh, proceed to your compressor. And uh, we want uh, that compressor set on a 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, depending on how it's labeled. So compression input, uh, uh, 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, Roger. Compression input, uh, uh, 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, Roger. Okay, um, you want me to go to uh, compressor, hold on one second. Okay, the compressor is on, and uh, uh, currently it looks like I'm running about uh, 10 to 15 uh, dB on average, about uh, 12 uh, dB of compression, and it's set at, uh, on the processor level at 34%. Yeah, we we'll just bring it back to 30, 30, uh, if that's easy for you to do, just set it on, a, uh, I assume that's a, a 0 to 100 scale, so just put it on 30, bring it down a couple, choose 30, three, three Roger. So just put it on 30, bring it down a couple, choose 30, Roger. Okay, it's at 30. All right, now I'm to go to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, don't uh, stress it. Just say it like you would say any other word in a QSO, uh, but elongate the front of that word, audio. And with mic gain, set uh, your ALC reading for two-thirds, Roger. Mic gain, set uh, your ALC reading for two-thirds, Roger. Yeah, QSL, okay. And... Uh, Okay, I think it's about two-thirds right now. Yes, sir. Now, uh, don't set it on the O. Set it on the A. Ah. That's what I said. Stretch out the front of that word. Audio. That's the one. The other one is a, is a, uh, uh, another frequency that's not as, uh, as uh, good as the front of that word. It took me six months to find that word, uh, looking at it on an, uh, a spectrum analyzer, just to get something broad enough that would be very good as far as setting a level. So, audio is the word, and just stretch out that A, and adjust your mic gain for two-thirds on your ALC. Okay. Also, uh, this is, there's a, a ham that's QRMing. Uh, I think it's um, a Victor Echo 3 Papa Papa or something like that. Uh, he's been, uh, I, I asked him if he could just give me, cut me a break for a few minutes here. I hope he's uh, given some kind of mercy to uh, at least let me uh, get through this without any interference. Um, anyway, I think he said it was the O or the A, so I think I'll go with the audio. Audio and audio and or audio. All right. Uh, was it audio or audio? Uh, looks like I'm at three thirds. I'm sorry, two thirds. Two thirds. The ALC scale with that audio, but not when I'm speaking normal. It, it looks like it went settled down way under over. Yes, sir. Well, that, uh, that's uh, the New York accent. See, that adds uh, something to the uh, excitation of the audio uh, setup curve, but uh, I'm kidding. Uh, let's uh, proceed. I think you've got a good level set there on your ALC. Let's uh, proceed to your uh, uh, EQ page. Roger, roger. Let's uh, proceed to your uh, uh, EQ page. Roger, roger. Okay. Um, let me get over to the... Um, let me get over to the... Um, uh, of the uh, EQ menu. This is the uh, Friday afternoon QSO, if you like that, and if there's a, a um, 
a um, uh, Canadian station up there. Uh, stand by. We'll, I'll be with you in just a minute. Uh, let me uh, work on Ed here just for a minute. Uh, he's, I'm sorry, uh, to uh, Justin. <laughs> he's uh, into his EQ page, and I'll be with you up in Canada in just a minute. Uh, Justin, you got your EQ page now? Uh, All right, uh, what kind of equalization do you have? Is it a 3-band, 8-band, 20-band, or what you got there? What equalization do you have? Is it a 3-band, 8-band, 20-band, or what you got there? Uh, the one built into the 991A has uh, is a 3... Uh, uh, has a ma- I forget the, uh, what it's called. Is it a 3-band EQ? You have two uh, three controls, is that a Roger? Yes, sir, Justin, that is called a three-band parametric EQ, a three-band parametric EQ. So on that treble EQ, uh, the top one, uh, if you can give me a 2.7K push, uh, that treble EQ, 2.7K, roger, roger. Uh, Push, the treble EQ, 2.7K, roger, roger. Okay, is that for the uh, frequency? Yes, sir, 2.7K. is either off or it goes um, oh and by the way I don't have the EQ engaged right now this is just the menu should I engage the uh, EQ yes uh, well we're working on your equalizer sir you is that c- confirmed you have a three band EQ is that a Roger you have three controls Roger um, uh, a, a bass a mid and a treble control Roger Roger, Roger. I just engaged the EQ right now, and uh, uh, so you 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 have three uh, you have three um, EQs in here, and each of the EQ looks like they uh, just have the same settings on all three, uh, and the the settings are uh, uh, the frequency. And uh, the EQ level and the bandwidth, and then it, uh, I guess that's what it is. It's a uh, frequency level and bandwidth uh, for each one. Over. Yes, sir, Justin. Okay, uh, let's uh, kind of be a little quicker there. I don't need a dissertation. I know what you've got. It's a three-band. E- it's called a three-band EQ. Top EQ. I want you to s- adjust the frequency to 2.7 K on your treble EQ, the top one. 2.7 K. Roger, Roger. Treble EQ at the top one. 2.7 K. Roger, Roger. Okay. All right. Now uh, I want you to get a width of four on that 2.7 K. Width of four, Roger. You get a width of four on that 2.7 K. Width of four, Roger. Okay, I got that. All right. Now, uh, where is it reading your your uh, adjustment uh, for cutter boost? Where is it reading right at the moment? Adjustment uh, for cutter boost. Where is it reading right at the moment? Uh, I don't see. Uh, well, I, 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 the, uh, the third one is uh, the bandwidth is at four. Yes, sir. You have three things for each frequency. You have the attenuation or cut. Uh, you have uh, frequency and you have width. All right. The width on the top one is four. The frequency is 2.7. That only leaves one other control for your treble. And we want to push that uh, four clicks additional from where it is. And we want to push that uh, four clicks additional from where it is. Okay. Is that four? So now it's at... Six. I got it to six now. 
Okay, the frequency is 2.7, Roger. Okay, the frequency is 2.7, Roger. 2.7 is the frequency. Yes, sir, and you do have the equalizer engaged. Is, uh, do you have an on-off switch for the whole equalizer situation? And it's on, Roger. Do you have an on-off switch for the whole equalizer situation? And it's on, Roger. QSL. Alrighty, and you're at a width of 4 on the 2.7. That's a Roger. Alrighty, and you're at a width of 4 on the 2.7. That's a Roger. You, uh, it, I thought you said put it up two notches. Uh, it's at 6 now. No, no, not the width. Not the width. The width stays at 4. Width at 4. Frequency is 2.7. The boost is uh, wherever we were. Uh, you know. Yeah, the level. Uh, is the level. Boost is the level. Width is 4. The level is 4. And the frequency is 2.7. The level is plus 4. Is that a roger? The level is plus 4. Is that a roger? Plus 4. Yes, sir. See, plus and minus are very uh, uh, telling things in an equalizer. It's not just a 4. It's a plus 4, minus 4, depending, you know. So we want to go, uh, you know, uh, maybe two more clicks. Uh, if you have that available, uh, two more clicks. This is your top in treble EQ, and you're still not sounding real articulated. So plus two more clicks, a boost on your 2.7. Roger? So plus two more clicks, a boost on your 2.7. Roger? Okay, you want me to um, increase the, two, the width? No, sir, the push, the, the level. No, sir, the push, the, the level. Okay, okay, there's six. Plus six, Roger. The six, plus six on the level. Six, Roger. Yes, sir. We're a little bit delayed there, but okay. Let's uh, leave the trouble alone for just a moment. Go back to your mid-frequency. Uh, we want that flat cutter cutter uh, boost nothing. It's uh, flat zero. Roger, Roger. Boost nothing. It's uh, flat zero. Roger, Roger. Okay, so the frequency is uh, I, I've I've got the frequency at off. Uh, Justin, the frequency doesn't matter because it's flat. It's not doing anything. So the frequency of the width don't don't matter because it's not doing anything. Roger. Okay, so uh, where would you like me to put the uh, menu number 28, which is the, the mid uh, EQ, for the frequency I have it on, on four? Uh, the level should be zero. The level should be uh, uh, plus or minus zero, flat. The level should be flat, neither cut nor boost, Roger. Okay, I'm going to bring it down to uh, zero. So the uh, frequency is at four, and the level is at zero. You keep saying the frequency is at four. Do you mean the width? The width and the frequency don't matter because it is uh, flat. Do you understand? We're not cutting or boosting it, so it doesn't matter what the width is or what the frequency is. We're not doing anything with it. It's flat. It doesn't matter what the width is or what the frequency is. We're not doing anything. Okay, the level is at zero. Yes, sir. Okay, now I go to your baseline, your, uh, your base at uh, 200 cycles. We want to make that a width of four. 200 cycles, width of four. Roger. Make that a width of four. 200 cycles, width of four. Roger. Okay, um, there's the width is at four. Yes, sir. Now, uh, two clicks roll. Uh, we want to, uh, on the level, minus two clicks from where it is. Minus two clicks from where it is uh, uh, at the moment, Roger. Minus two clicks from where it is uh, uh, at the moment, Roger. Okay, minus uh, two clicks from four down to two. We're at two now on the, on the uh, base width. Not the width. The width stays at four. The width stays at four. The frequency is 200. And we wanted to um, attenuate it two clicks lower than what it was. Um, attenuate it two clicks lower than what it was. Okay, so 
Okay, the frequency is at 200. Uh, the frequency doesn't go down to 200. It's uh, either off and then it starts at uh, 700, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, up to 1500 for the frequency. You're on the wrong one. I'm talking about the bottom frequency, the one above, uh, you know, the one, I think you said you had one at 200 cycles. Uh, you know, the one, I think you said you had one at 200 cycles. What, what frequency do you have in the realm of uh, 200 cycles? Do you have 190 cycles? 31. In the realm of uh, 200 yeah, cycles, frequency? do you have 190 cycles? Uh, did you want me to change that one? Uh, Justin, we have an ebb and flow here. I talk, you talk, and right now we're talking over each other, so we're not really doing a good job of communicating. Uh, we're talking about low frequency. Uh, uh, what do you have in the realm of 200 cycles? Do you have 190, 180? Uh, there are about... Do you have 190, 180? Uh, there are about... Uh, uh, you have a three-band EQ, that's a Roger? Me, yeah, uh, You have a three-band EQ, that's a Roger? QSL. All right, so the low frequency, uh, you, can you get to 200 cycles on your low frequency uh, uh, control? Cycles on your low frequency uh, uh, control. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think I know which menu you want me to be in. This thing has a lot of menus, so I apologize. But it uh, looks like I'm not sure what menu number you wanted me to be in. All right, so you have, we were up on the treble EQ, and then we were on the mid-range EQ, and now we're on the bass EQ. All right, so uh, on the bass EQ, do you, can you give me 200 cycles, or what do you have in the uh, region of 200 cycles? What do you have in the uh, region of 200 cycles? looking and um, it doesn't look like I've got anything. All right, what's the lowest frequency on your bass control? All right, what's the lowest frequency on your bass control? You know, it really doesn't say this is the bass control. It's just, uh, just uh, EQ number three is what it's identified as. All right, so we worked on number one, Roger. We were working on the trouble on number one. Is that a Roger? We worked on number one, Roger. We were working on the trouble on number one. Is that a Roger? Yeah, somebody's saying that number one is the uh, base EQ, and we worked on the number one already. So you want me to go back to the number one then? Uh, did you get 2.7K out of that number one? Uh, did you get 2.7K out of that number one? Let's see, number one is actually off right now. Hold on. You have to go to EQ3 to get 2,700 hertz. So base is one, uh, mid-range is two, and three is the trouble control. Is that a Roger? Uh, mid-range is two, and three is the trouble control. Is that a Roger? That's a Roger. Okay, so number three control should be at 2.7K. Number three control should be at uh, 2.7K with the four. Roger? 2.7K uh, with the four. Roger? You guys double. Hello, Justin. Can you copy? So, EQ3 now has 2.7 frequency and a... Uh, the uh, level is 10, and the width is 4. I missed the first, first of that, uh, Justin. Your uh, treble EQ uh, number 3 is uh, 2.7K with the 4, and what was the push? Uh, 2.7K with the 4, and what was the push? The push is 10. Yes, sir. Okay, and your number 2 is flat, Roger. Your number 2 mid control is flat, Roger. Roger, your number two mid control is flat, Roger. The one in the middle, one, two, three, the number two one in the middle is flat. That's mid range control, Roger. The number two one in the middle is flat. That's mid range control, Roger. 
It is now. Okay, and uh, then so let's go to EQ number one, the base EQ. Uh, what is the setting of that at the moment? One, the base EQ. Uh, what is the setting of that at the moment? Okay, hold on a second. Uh, EQ number one is frequency is off, level is flat, and the width is three. Okay, on your bass control, the one you were just talking about, we want the frequency to be 200 cycles. Can you get it in the 200 cycle realm, Roger? Can you get it in the 200 cycle realm, Roger? Okay, it's in 200 right now. Yes, sir, with the four. With the four. 200 cycles with the four, Roger? The four. With the four. 200 cycles with the four, Roger? Okay. Width is four. All right. Now I want you to uh, cut that uh, two clicks. Minus two clicks from where it is at the moment. Minus two clicks from where it is, Roger. Clicks from where it is at the moment. Minus two clicks from where it is, Roger. Okay. It's at uh, down two clicks, which is uh, plus two. Which is what? Which is what? It's at plus two. Okay, just go ahead and take that to flat. Take that 200 cycles to flat, Roger. Take that to flat. So it's down take that 200 two cycles to flat, one. Roger. Justin, we, we keep doubling, bud. I, I think, uh, mm, I'm not sure what's happening, but uh, you talk, I talk, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we, we communicate. So uh, we're talking about 200 cycles, and just put it flat. Put it flat, Roger. Talking about 200 cycles, and just put it flat. Put it flat, Roger. Okay. It's, uh, the EQ level is at zero, flat. Yes, sir. Now, what I want you to do is uh, give me about 10 seconds uh, and in, uh, well, let's see, let's go back to your ALC and reset your ALC. We've been uh, screwing with this EQ, and uh, every time you uh, mess with your EQ, you should go back to your ALC and double-check your level. So back to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word, audio, adjust your mic gain until your ALC is two-thirds level. Roger? No, adjust your mic gain until your ALC is two-thirds level. Roger? Okay, stand by. Uh, uh, it's exactly at two-thirds right now. Excellent. Okay, so now what I want you to do is give me about 10 seconds and tell me about the best thing you like about your radio so I can listen to your audio, Roger. Tell me about the best thing you like about your radio so I can listen to your audio, Roger. Okay, uh, the best thing I like about this radio is when it's off. Uh, I like my vintage Rick W because the best thing I like about this radio is CW because I uh, never really liked the um, never really liked the audio uh, the way it sounded or the way it looked uh, on the um, on uh, web SDRs. But I'm looking at the web SDR right now and it and it looks pretty nice. I'm also talking sideways into the microphone not to put any wind on the uh, element. This is Kilo Golf 2, Romeo Golf. Roger, Justin, now is that a hand mic or dust mic? Roger, Justin, now is that a hand mic or dust mic? Uh, this is uh, a hand microphone and it also has um, uh, 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 a toggle for two different types of tones on the back and I'm in position number one. Very good. Uh, stay in position, number one. Now, the best way to work that mic, pull it to the corner of your lips. Touch the corner of your lips when you speak. Talk across it. Do not talk into it. So pull it to the corner of your lips and talk across it. Roger? Talk into it. So pull it to the corner of your lips and talk across it. Roger? Yeah, yeah that's pretty much the way I do. Uh, sometimes I switch hands if, my, uh, if I need to use my right hand or left hand. But... Uh, uh, that's exactly how I'm doing it right now. Over. 
Yes, sir. Well, I think I think uh, we've uh, transcended uh, the EQ situation. I think it sounds pretty good for him, Mike. Now, uh, you would have a better top-end resolution and articulation with a desk mic, and I would suggest that uh, probably, uh, you know, in your future, maybe you might want to get one. And if so, um, I'm not sure if that radio would take a, a condenser mic or not, but uh, let me just say that condenser mics... Uh, electret condenser mics usually have a better top end uh, for articulation than dynamic mics. Yeah, uh, that's my personal uh, revelation. So uh, if your radio would take uh, an electret mic, uh, I would uh, put my, you know put one on there. Desk mic uh, would be just perfect, and we'd have to renegotiate those EQs. But uh, small thing, you know. I think a uh, desk mic would give you overall a better frequency response than the hand mic. Roger. Overall, a better frequency response than the hand mic. Roger. Yeah, QSL. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I um, I may get a, a desk microphone in the future, possibly. But um, this is um, I don't really use this radio that much, and um, sometimes I do take it portable with me and use the hand mic. Um, I I use a. Yeah, Roger, Roger there, Justin. Well, let me say 73, sir, if you want to hear your audio, if you go to uh, YouTube, do a call at a search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. Uh, it'll be cut number one in a series of 2,500 uh, QCV log air check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. QCV log air check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. By the way, I'm running about 800 watts, and my antenna is up at... Uh, an inverted V up at 100 feet. So I'm hearing you very well here, 59. Yes, sir, uh, Justin. Uh, roger, roger. So if you want to hear it, I don't know, we doubled again. So <laughs> if you want to hear your audio, go to YouTube, do a call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger, roger. Followed by the word logbook. I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger, roger. Yeah, QSO. Uh, well, uh, just want to make sure, again, uh, thank you very much. I want to make sure that uh, uh, I relay my uh, gratitude for you, you taking your time to help me out, sir. Um, again, thank you very much, and uh, uh, good, good, uh, good job uh, helping people out. I'm really glad to get the opportunity uh, to help me out. Uh, thank you. Roger, Roger, Justin, 73 up that way, and if you get a chance, join us next Friday. Uh, I'd love to have you uh, under better uh, propagation so I can hear you just a little bit clearer. 73, sir. And uh, if there was a uh, Canadian station up there, this is KC9 VKV. Go ahead, Canadian station. Canadian station up there, this is KC9 VKV. Go ahead, Canadian Uh, Canadian station, uh, you're only about a half a dB over uh, my PASDR noise level, and my uh, PASDR has uh, got the best copy. So uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to uh, communicate. Uh, uh, try it one more time. Give me 10 seconds. Tell me about your antenna system. Let me look around and see if I can find a better path. Roger. Your antenna system. Let me look around and see if I can find a better path. Roger. And I have uh, some other traffic in there. You know, it's amazing. Uh, these uh, uh, DX stations, uh, you know, they can't hear anything when I say, you know, we were on the frequency and please uh, shift off. This is a net. Obviously, they can't hear me then, but then, uh, you know, they keep... Uh I can hear them, and it's just uh, strange how that works. But anyway, uh, so Canadian Station, I do not have a good copy on you. I'm sorry, sir, propagation. Maybe uh, next uh, Friday we can uh, uh, work it out. Give me a shout then and see how uh, conditions are, are portraying at that moment. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. Uh, we got room for one more. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, we got room for one more. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo 4, Lima, Japan, Echo. Echo 3, Hotel Julie. Kilo 4, Lima, Japan, Echo, Jim, how's it going, sir? Kilo 4, Lima, Japan, Echo, Jim, how's it going, sir? 
Yeah, it's going uh, pretty good there, uh, Jim. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, we uh, had a little trouble with the uh, Drake TR-7. Very good afternoon to you. Hope you're doing okay. We had a little trouble with the uh, Drake TR-7, so we had to move that out, and we got the... Uh, we had to move that out, and we've got the uh, uh, ICOM 775 in here, so I uh, just wanted to make sure this is the first time we had it uh, on the air in a while. Just wanted to make sure we were okay there, Roger. Oh, uh, you're, you're okay, bud. You know, I, I guess you're going to get a, a shovel and, and bury the uh, uh, the other one? You're going to get a, a shovel and, and bury the, uh, uh, the other one? No, we're no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. <laughs> we, <laughs> this thing had been setting and collected a little bit of dust. So, uh, I uh, any uh, any recommendations? Uh, just uh, go ahead, sir. Oh, just perfect. I wouldn't change a thing. Get the gorilla tape. Tape the whole thing down. Uh, it's just just uh, perfect. Uh, you know, Roger, Roger. Thing down. It's just just uh, perfect. Uh, you know, Roger, Roger. Okay, well, we we uh, we can we can uh, change the bandwidth on this one. This one is uh, uh, 125 on the low and uh, 2900 on the uh, high. So, uh, and uh, by the way, we did uh, we did break the uh, almost broke the bank and uh, got us a uh, RE27 Electro Voice that what we use is becoming the uh, station microphone. So we did do that, and uh, uh, I you know. <laughs> Whatever, you know, We now that we're retired, I'll probably have to eat some more pork and beans there, Roger. Oh, I know what you mean there, buddy. <laughs> uh, uh, the, so uh, what radio is that now you're running? <laughs> uh, uh, the, so uh, what radio is that now you're running? It's the uh, ICOM, ICOM IC775, uh, late 90s to early 2000s there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, boy, it really, really sounds good. Uh, I wouldn't uh, change a thing there. Uh, you know, it just, uh, uh, you're running your outboard uh, stuff with it, Roger? Uh, you're running your outboard uh, stuff with it, Roger? Well, we had to, uh, I've got the, uh, this rig doesn't like the uh, outboard uh, compression. But uh, anyway, we disconnected the outboard stuff and uh, we're using the stuff that's in the rig. Uh, uh, the uh, compression in the rig and uh, the outboard mixer. The outboard mixer works pretty good with it. It's an Allen and Heath, Allen and Heath uh, outboard mixer. That's the main thing we're running uh, right now. Over. Yes, sir. Okay. The main thing I, I just saw there is uh, maybe you want to check your ALC level. Uh, move to your ALC with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word audio, adjust your mic level to two thirds on your ALC by way of mic control, uh, mic volume control. To two thirds on your ALC by way of mic control, uh, mic volume control. Okay. It's probably. Uh, hang on one second. Probably a little hot. Hello. Uh, Hello, well, it's a little hot. Hello, hello. That's uh, that's uh, right close to two thirds, Roger. Yes, sir. Looks looks really, really good. And and uh, that thing have a compressor. Or usually we suggest a, a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred on the compressor. If if you could do that. Thirty out of a hundred on the compressor. If, if you could do that. Well. Uh, this thing, it needs an alignment, and when I kick the compression in on the rig, it uh, changes the EQ right much. And so we need to get this thing uh, aligned uh, up okay. But uh, uh, this is probably about the best we're going to do right now, Roger. Sounds really good. You know, so, some of these modern radios, even um, when you hit your, uh, your compressor, it goes to a different EQ bank than what you had set before. So you're running uh, two uh, different EQ uh, controls, one with the compressor on, one with it off. And I don't know if that's what's happening with yours or not, Roger. You're on, one with it off. And I don't know if that's what's happening with yours or not, Roger. Yeah, I think it is. So uh, what we did just uh, just a second ago, we did get the uh, ALC. The ALC was almost out of the window. It was uh, very close to uh, exceeding the window a while ago. Is that about what it sounded like? Yes, sir. It looked a little a little tight. Yeah, usually, you know, uh, 
Uh, the, uh, the level of the AOC affects your dynamic range. The more you push your AOC level, uh, the fatter it gets uh, or the less decibel range you have in your audio. And uh, we found that uh, 3 dB dynamic range is just, just perfect. You can get fatter than that, but what happens when you get fatter than 3 dB when you start collapsing that uh, uh, voice uh, decibels uh, to 2 dB, it starts to blur. And and then you, you're defeating your own purpose. So a 3 dB is uh, perfect in that uh, 3 dB occurs uh, when you're uh, at uh, two-thirds on your ALC, Roger. Uh, when you're uh, at uh, two-thirds on your ALC, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Gosh, my throat is uh, getting all uh, clogged up in my throat here. Yeah, well, I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the help here, Tim. I'm going to let you go, and uh, we're... Uh, we have to come in here late at night so we don't uh, drive people crazy uh, when we make our adjustments, our main adjustments. But, uh, yes, indeed, thank you very much. And uh, we'll give it a listen this weekend and see what we think. And, uh, hey, man, uh, take care up there in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Or is it uh, Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky? <laughs> All right, 7 threes, uh, my man. Really appreciate it. God bless, and uh, we'll catch you later on. KC9VKV, K4LJE. Uh, thank you, Jim. Roger, Roger, Jim. It's Louisville. Louisville. You're going to stab at it. Louisville. <laughs> 73, Jim. Glad to hear you. Uh, and uh, if you want to hear that audio, always uh, go to YouTube, call it a search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. We'll take you to uh, this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So, uh, 73, Jim. Good to hear you in there, buddy. This is the Friday afternoon Kiso Vlog Network, and if you have participated, want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do that call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, uh, that will take you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So, I see by the clock on the wall, there's a dead fly. Ooh, so that means we got to get out of here. We've enjoyed it, and uh, um, we'll be returning this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. This is KC9 VKV Clear.